Until next time. I came first to help you. Your needs seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You have lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. You speak with some sadness. Has your time here always been tragic? There have been tears, but also great passions. Love, foolishness, regret. Yet, is that not all lives? The best lived of them? And what of our plan, the Great Lama's Kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A blessing of the harvest. Full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one. And her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. This captain, who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. Full of youthful bravado. A Saxon. A Dane. Though Adred calls you raiders, he says that you are here to steal England. Some may be. But I have come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah! It must be beautiful, rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that the light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfer, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I will bring him round by force or persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lamas Festival. Rollo! 
Please, I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Oh. Oh. Someone's at the door, Rollo. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Esther sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second! Good day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking Danes! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! <laughs> we found your camp, Danes! Your friends are all did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can.
It's worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor? Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. The Saxons attacked us, and these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rolo's clan. I should speak to both and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. The camp is well stocked with fresh rabbits and game. Looks like a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. Uh, Lork, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? Then bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can hang. Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting and all hell broke loose. Did you see anything at all? Gerhild talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite. An ambition always was. How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. You must tire of battle. I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. You're lying. I found a rack full of game nearby, enough to feed the camp for days. I told you! I was hunting! Stick to that story and I'll tell Rolo to take your treacherous head. I was sleeping in the forest, wasn't I? Heard Saxons tramping through the trees, so I hid. Not fool enough to face him on my own. I have what I need for now. Gerhild, is it? I, Rolo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him? You were not here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rolo's favorite. Who are you to Rolo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path. Our people deserve better. I hear envy, but of Estrid or Rolo, I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. Lorg accused you of treachery. He saw you with the Saxon. Lorg? You believe that old crow? His bones crumble and his mind wanders with age. Or he wallows in jealousy. Take your pick. You're lying. I found rags and rags of game. You've got more wit than your face suggests. I went to meet a lad from a nearby village. Rolo's not the only one who dallies with locals. That is all, for now. While you were drinking and whoring, Rolo, the Saxons attacked. Were nowhere to be ah. found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rolo's clan. Have you made your decision? Gerhild claimed to be hunting, as Lorch did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lorch saw her with a Saxon. She claimed he was her lover. Yet she has berated me many times for taking Estrid to my bed. 
I did not think her a hypocrite. Lork said he was hunting, but your racks are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. This man knew the Saxons were coming and hid. He was either in league with them or a coward. A sad fall for a great warrior no longer in his prime. Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. Gerhild betrayed you. No, that's not true! Rollo, I beg you! A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Both had reason to betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my hall. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. She was always a jealous crow, beak pricking over every decision I made. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive. And I will need your help after they are free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. Always knew there was something wrong about her. Spare me your sullen words. My heart is torn. Go. Find something useful to do. I've heard of a safer place than this south of Colchester. Let's you and I go take a look, shall we? I am sorry. Eivor, I have much to think on as we journey. I'll leave you to those thoughts. of Saxon blood!
Strong Rolo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Stay true to that, and your name and deeds shall spread far. Good advice. Such is my fiercest desire. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. I have a task that will set your name ringing through the long halls. Oh, tell me. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout-hearted in this, whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here, nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester, on the night of the Lama's Festival. Have a look, Sunan. The last house in Malden. All that us should be here. Someone was interrupted preparing their supper. Taken or fled. Second bed. All that it doesn't live alone. A spilled pail of water. Someone was in a hurry. Leave me be, warmonger! You have my sister! Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. 
day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. Do you know where they're holding Elvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. Show me. Unlock all that is cage. walk my ankle they were not gentle with me then i will carry you who are you who risked so much to save me a friend of elrich's is he all right the poor boy not your brother someone else who wishes to rekindle a, a friendship Safe and well. Rest now. Soon you'll be up and about again. Oh! 
Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshy milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread? I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvira, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. You raised him alone. Where were your parents when he was a child? Dead of the plague that came when he was three months born. So to shun your door when you have a babe on your teat. Now it's your turn. Why did you come for me? I am here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for, I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife Estrid returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the Alderman... Oh, God, help me! I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He will come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he will ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. Give her time, Birsten. A passion rekindled in haste will soon fall to embers. Of course. You are absolutely right. And we have a lifetime to recapture what was mislaid. I hope it will not take that. And this young lad is Elevich, Olvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstan. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Beerstan. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elovrich, I would suggest a long, slow walk around the lake. I should lead them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnap in Colchester. Dear Beerston, I cannot believe you would come for me after all these years. I never stopped thinking of you, Alvida. I had forgotten his charm. Still so boyish and eager to make me happy. <laughs> Silly arse. She has not changed at all. Her soft features, her earthy strength. She will make a good wife. All I be in Colchester, a gooseberry in the Elderman's patch. <laughs> 